What's up ladies and pimps, this is Les LeVon. Welcome to my channel. I am going to be doing a Q&A today. These are some of the few questions I receive consistently on my Instagram, social media, as like Twitter and Facebook. Also, I did a poll recently on my Instagram, so I'm just going ahead and reading you guys off some of these questions for you guys. All right, so we're gonna start off with the first question. Who are you and what do you do? I am Les LeVon. I am a freelance photographer. I do photos, videos, and I also go all on these little trips. I'm really trying to work my fitness as well at what age did you realize your passion for photography i could say probably like around the age of five or six my parents used to have all these disposable cameras and you should just take pictures of the family and whatever whatnot i used to take those cameras and then take pictures of just random things they will find out just a week after once they develop the pictures though so i used to get in trouble time by time i took photography in a more serious matter about two years ago and we're gonna go on to the next question what camera do you use as far as cameras my main camera is the Canon 80D. My second camera is the Canon T5i. I don't want to get into depth from all the gear that I have because I am doing a what's in your camera bag next week. So tune in for that. If you can travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? As far as the US, I want to travel out to San Francisco. I know I live in California. I just actually have not made the chance to make the trip to go out to San Francisco. So that is a little minor goal for next year. As far as internationally, I want to go to Cap Capa. Cappadocia? Cappadocia? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I Cappadocia or Cappadocia. It's a great place. I don't know why. I just really want to go out there. The full aesthetic of waking up and you see air balloons every morning. I don't know. I just want to go out there. But there's plenty of other places I really want to go to. Where do I find all my crazy locations? So as far as, as many of you guys may have seen my Instagram and also my Snapchat, I find them from my friends, if not locals, or just location scouting. Google is also a good place to find some places. There's some places that were very difficult to find and I just just looked on Google Maps and literally found them from there. Are you vegan? Yes, I am vegan. I've been vegan since March of 2018. And the reason why I am vegan is because I am working on my health and also I'm just doing it for the environment. So if you do know any good vegan spots, any food suggestions, ingredients, let your boy know because your boy is starving. You guys are gonna hear a lot of echoes. They're talking in the background. This question always bugs me so much. Have you had any sexual encounters with any of the females that you shot? Boy, no, none of that ever has happened with any of the people I've shot with. It's either they had paid for the shoot, we collaborated together on the shoot, and that's pretty much it. Nothing else. I've been losing clients just because of that. What is your ultimate goal in life? My ultimate goal is to be financially stable with my life. I really want to pursue photography and video. Also working with my clothing line to build more relationships with my customers. And then also with fitness, I want to own my own gym. It's a struggle in the beginning, but it is worth it at the end who's a peer that you admire in the photography video world so as far as the people that i know i'm going to do a quick little shout out here for you guys i'm gonna give a good shout out to my homegirl felicia she does amazing shots my homeboy jameer dude he does some clean edits my boy jp also my homie matt as far as inspiration jessica Kobasi, jordan taylor aka taylor cup films rob stroke and also sam colder what is the difference between sauce and juice i'm gonna have someone explain it for you guys let's go ahead and do it juice is temporary you know anyone can obtain the juices it's something that kind of, kind of comes and goes the sauce the sauce is forever you buy you a simply lemonade how long is that gonna last in your fridge a couple days maybe yeah. that's a juice how long does barbecue sauce last in your fridge oh, wow that's the sauce man sticks around now, did that answer your question? Because people are still not really getting the whole gist of what it means. What is your craziest drunk story? Surprisingly, I am 22 years old and I still have never been drunk. Just because I've always been the DD, surprisingly. I just fear that once my friends see this video, they're going to send me a text saying, Yo, we go get you drunk tonight. What is the wildest thing you have done? I made a bet with my mom a couple of years ago. I told her I'm going to throw a party at the house. I can bring about 50 to 100 people over and she didn't believe me because she thought I wasn't cool enough and I rented out a jumper I bought about a thousand hit balls filled it up in the jumper I had a DJ I got a porta potty I did not want nobody inside my house I'm gonna go ahead and just skip to the end the cops came they ruined it I had to end the party there was something going on in the front yard there was a fight going on I just gotta cut it anyways but as I'm like climbing on top of the roof I bought the cops the cops were coming there was like two or three of them so it was a good point in time I was looked at everybody in the backyard 
<laughs> and I was like, yo, what's up everybody? It's time for y'all to go, get out, get out, ghost, get out. Literally, by the end of the night, there was at least 200 people. There was a lot of people in that backyard. It was crazy on how many people came. As I like got down from the roof and started talking to the police officers, uh, they told me that it's a good thing that you're into the party now because it's getting out of hand. Your neighbors are getting really pissed off. As we were coming up here, there was at least 10 to 15 cars looking for park. Literally, we had this whole street filled with cars. I was really excited about that point. I found out a couple of months later that my neighbor is a cop. So typically I could have got in really bigger trouble. I could have got fined. That was one yeah, of the craziest thing I had done. I proved my mom wrong. So if y'all want me to throw another party, it's not happening anytime soon. I'm not throwing any more parties at my house. I'll find another one. I'm not sure who asked this. Why did you ask this? Do you eat ass? Um, I. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If I didn't answer your question, I do apologize. I know I couldn't really fit everyone in there, but I will be doing this again. And stay tuned, more videos, more content's coming out for you guys. Like and subscribe if you guys do like this video because I will be coming out with some more uh, heat for you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I've been doing a lot of hand movements. And so do I.